Next up, we're going to be taking a look at plugins. We have lightly taken a look at plugins um, already, but let's just make sure we take a full look just so you understand them properly. So plugins, we're going to come to the left hand side and I'm just going to click plugins. This will bring us all uh, to our plugin page where we have any active or unactive plugins. And this is going to be the list that we have here. As you can see here, this one's not active. You have to click it to activate it. The same with Elementor. However, these ones are activated and you can also auto enable updates from the right hand side. I would suggest doing this. Always keep up to date with your updates. Um, this is actually a security risk if you don't because what can happen is if you don't update old updates uh, for a certain plugin that plugin might have a, a vulnerability people will then realize or if they can find out that your plugin that you use is out of date it has that vulnerability they can then backdoor their way into the website so just make sure everything is kept up to date so realistically click all of these on auto enable and anything you're not using just delete so as you can see here elemental i'm not using this i'm just going to go ahead i'm just going to delete the plugin because i don't need it um, same with hello dolly i don't need that anymore um, it's just going to be taking space and it's just going to give extra chances for security threats so we don't want it um, ask anti-spam I'll leave on because that will probably get activated a little bit later on you need to do that manually and go through a bit of a process it's not too long and it's absolutely free and it does help with anti-spam so I won't delete that yet either way so to upload a plugin you have two different ways you can either come to the plugin section go to add new and then you can go through WordPress's library you can simply search anything here so if I go to form um, it will show me all the form plugins. Another thing that you can do um, is if you have a zip file, if you go and download it, let's say for instance, you might go onto WordPress and let's say now you're on WordPress, you found a plugin that you like. Um, let's go to event tickets and you download it manually. So what you're gonna download is you're gonna download a zip. And the way to upload this plugin now manually is by once you do go on add new, go on to upload plugin once again and go to choose file. You can then go over, double click the zip that you just downloaded and then click install now on the page. Once you have installed it, activate it and that will also be the plugin activated and installed on your WordPress site. So now you know how to do it manually and also through the library on WordPress. As you can see there, all I've got to do now is simply activate it. However, I'm going to go back to the plugin installer and I'm just going to delete it because I don't actually need it. So if I go to all of my plugins, I'm going to find the event tickets and I'm going to go to delete. Um, so of course, that's also how you delete it. Now you also get a bulk action um, option here so let's say if i want to delete a few i can tick two of them i can go down to bulk actions i can then choose whether to deactivate them update them delete them uh, change auto enabler on so let's just highlight all of these for instance let's go here and let's turn auto enabler on and hit apply now this will apply this to all the plugins or any ones that i've selected plugins themselves really you get a huge amount we'll be going through a few more that you need um, a little bit later on in the video however for instance you can add gdpr so if you want to obviously you got to handle people's data so if we type gdp on in there you're going to get gdpr plugins as you can see here and they're pretty much all free or a light version then you can choose whether you want to buy a pro version afterwards as i also showed you before you can make forms you can make forums even some with mini games there are loads of choices so plugins are basically a way of adding an extra feature things to look out for let's go to add new again uh, first of all it's going to be whether it's compatible so if it has compatible with your version of wordpress that's good to go that means they have tested it with your version and it is working another thing to do is go on to more details before you do download it and of course head over to the reviews what are the latest reviews how many have they got as you can see here lots of five star reviews um lots of good words about them and also check whether they're reviewing the paid or the free version so obviously there might be lots of five stars on there for the paid version however the free version might not be so good installation instructions will also come on here you can check on the descriptions uh, faqs but on the most part it's just simply a case of clicking install and then activate WordPress has made this extremely easy. Once you do download extra plugins, what you'll also notice, you'll get extra tabs on the left hand side, whether they appear on the settings, the appearance, or just extra tabs on the side or the bottom. And this would just be for extra navigation so you can get to your plugin easier. 